This morning, California is facing a different kind of emergency. The state's water crisis is impacting one of the world's most important farming regions, the San Joaquin Valley. The ground is literally sinking by up to one foot a year. Ben Tracy shows us how the land is becoming as unstable as the water supply. Every six weeks, Michelle Sneed visits this white shed. She checks the pulley system and records a measurement. The numbers show that the ground beneath her feet is sinking. We're measuring the highest rates we've ever measured here, among the highest rates ever measured in the entire world. Sneed is a government hydrologist and says parts of California's Central Valley are dropping by one foot each year. Some areas are 10 feet lower than they used to be. We would have had many, many feet of dirt above our heads right now. That's right, that's right, we'd be standing 10 feet higher than we're standing right now. This is why the ground is collapsing. California's farmers are pumping groundwater as fast as they can in order to keep their crops alive during a drought that has left them high and very dry. But when this much water is pumped out of the aquifer below ground, the clay between the pockets of water collapses and the ground starts to deflate like a leaky air mattress. The sinking is buckling the walls of irrigation canals, damaging pipes, creating giant sinkholes, and cracking homes. This bridge has dropped so much, the water will soon flow over it instead of under it. Fixing the damage could cost more than 100 million tax dollars. You just have to keep going deeper and deeper. Steve uh, Arthur is a well driller. Some wells are now 2,500 feet deep. That's two Empire State buildings underground. Water that deep is thousands of years old. But it's desperately needed because more than half of the country's fruits, vegetables, and nuts are grown here. You tell this farmer he can't drill any more wells, he can't farm as many acres, you're gonna go into the store and buy a gallon of milk for $10, a loaf of bread for five, then the public's gonna say, hey, what happened? So we see this progression from green to yellow to red as the state is literally drying out. NASA's senior water scientist, Jay Famlietti, uses satellite data to show the depletion of California's water resources. The state has lost 16 trillion gallons in the past four years. That's enough to fill Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the country, twice. So what happens when the water is simply gone? That's a question that all of us first of all, have a, a difficult time really fathoming. If we still want to have agriculture, we have to come up with the water from some other place. But for now, the drilling continues, even with the ground all around it caving in. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, California's Central Valley. 16 trillion gallons. I know. You know. Steve Arthur, the guy from the drilling company, makes a good point. $10 for milk and $5 for bread, you, you, that will get your attention. And the irony of all this is there's so much water. Yes. You know, the world is mostly water. That's right. Mm. That's right. You must figure that out.